Okay, so problem statement. Find the tension in the quad of the inclined plane system as shown in figure. So block A and B, it is rested on inclined plane. Okay, so first of all, draw the free body diagram of block B because there is a less unknown force acted on block B. Okay, so now consider block B first. Consider block B. Consider, consider block B. Block B. Okay. Now draw the free body diagram of block B. It is rested on inclined plane. Rested on inclined plane. Block B. Okay. So, angle with respect to horizontal it is 30 degree. This angle it is with respect to horizontal it is 30 degree. So, weight of block it is acted 400 kN. It is acted in downward direction. This is adapted in downward direction that is 400 kN. 400 kN. 400 kN. Okay. Draw the normal reaction that is RMB. This one it is normal reaction in B. Normal to this inclined plane that is RNB normal reaction. So impending motion of this block this was the down. This one it is impending motion. Was the down impending motion. Impending motion. Okay. So weight it is acted 400 kilonewton. That's why it is going downward direction. Impending motion it is downward direction. So impending motion it is downward direction means friction force it is acted opposite direction of impending motion. That is far is equal to far is equal to this mu R N B. Coefficient of friction it is mu R N B. R N B is normal reaction. RNB it is normal reaction for block B. Okay. So this then next one it is this quad wire wire load that is T1. Okay. This one it is tension. T1. Okay. T1. This one is T1. So now calculate the resultant of friction force and RNB it is RB. So this one it is RB. This resultant it is RM RB. RB this resultant it is rest to RB. So this one it is RB. So angle with respect to horizontal this one. Sorry, this RNB. RB it is angle with respect to R RNB it is this one it is phi angle. Okay. This one it is phi angle. So calculate this phi is equal to phi is equal to this 10 inverse. Phi is equal to this 10 inverse. 10 inverse, 10 inverse, 10 inverse mu b, coefficient of friction between plane and block b, mu b is coefficient of friction between block b and plane. So mu b is given 0.2. So is equal to this 10 inverse, 10 inverse, 0.1. Inverse, 0.1. Inverse, 0.1. Point one. Point one is equal to so it will be ten inverse point one it will be five point seven one zero. Five point seven one zero. Okay. So this one it is mu b it is this one. Okay. Mu is equal to point one. Okay. So now this angle it is five point seven one zero. Okay. So now so with respect to vertical this angle R B it is thirty degree. This angle it is R and B and this angle it is 30 degree. This one it is U 30 degree angle. Okay. So this angle it is 30 degree. 30 degree. Okay. So total angle it is 30 degree. Okay. So now the free body diagram, free forces diagram just draw. This one it is X axis and this one it is Y axis. Okay, this one it is Y axis. So, just show 
weight of this block it is given 400 kilonewton it is acted in downward direction they show four diagrams separately 400 kilonewton okay so t to force it is acted in incline so this one it t2 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 sorry t1 this one it is t1 so t1 t1 it is parallel to this inclined plane so inclined plane it is angle with respect to horizontal it is 30 degree so just this the angle it is 30 degree okay 30 degree so this 30 degree okay so now even it is this tension of wire okay this wire okay so next one it is rb rb it is going this direction see here this one it is rb this one is rb rb okay so rb it is angle with respect to horizontal so this angle we need to calculate so this angle okay so how much this angle so just calculate this angle so total 30 minus 5 it is 5.710 so 30 minus 5.710 30 minus 5.710 so it will be 24.29 so this angle it is 24.29 yes this angle it is 24.29 24.29 this angle it is 24.29 okay so now apply lamis theorem this part this angle it is 24.29 this angle 24.29 so now apply lamis theorem for apply lamis lamis theorem Lamis theorem for block B or block B block B okay so 400 divided by 400 divided by sign of angle between other two forces 400 divided by 400 divided by sign of angle between other two forces so which are the other two forces that is T1 and RB so we need to calculate this angle so how much this angle here first of all we must be know this angle so this angle it is 90 minus 30 it is 60 degree so this angle is 60 60 plus 24.29 so 60 plus 24.29 so it will be 84.29 sign of 84.29 so this angle it is sign of sign of 84.29 84.29 so this angle is sign of 84.29 okay. so now is equal to t1 divided by t1 divided by sign of angle between other two forces t1 divided by sign of angle between other two forces which are other two forces rb and rb and 400 so this end this end. okay so we need to calculate this end so this one it is first of all calculate this so this one it is 24.29 minus 90 90 minus 24.29 so it will be 65.7 65.7 so this angle it is 65.7 65.7 65 65.71 plus 9 it will be get this angle i know 65.71 plus 9 it will be 155.71 150 155.71 how to get this angle total so this one it is 90 90 minus 65.71 it will get 155.71 so from this relation it will get t1 value calculate t1 is equal to t1 is equal to so now 400 divided by 400 divided by sin 84.29 into sin of 155.71 so it will be 165.36 165.36 kilo newton kilo newton so this one it is t1 this one it is t1 so now draw the free body diagram for block a now consider block a okay 
now consider block A. Consider block A. Consider block A. Draw the free body diagram of block A. This one it is horizontal axis, horizontal surface. It is rested on inclined surface. Just draw the block A. This one it is block A. Okay. So angle with respect to horizontal, this angle it is 45 degree. This one it is 45 degree. 45 degree. Okay. So just draw the x axis parallel to this inclined. Okay. So T1 it is here. This one it is T1. This one it is T1. T1. And this one it is T2. This one it is T2 force. This one it is T2 force. T2. Okay. Just draw the y axis perpendicular to this incline. Okay. So weight of block is 100 kilo. It is acted in downward direction. Just show it is 100 kilo newton. Yes, 100 kilo newton. It is acted in downward direction. 100 kilo newton. Okay. So this angle it is 45 degree with the horizontal. This angle it is 45 degree. Just show this angle it is 45 degree. 45 degree, okay. 45 degree, okay. So now, friction force, the embedding motion of this block it is towards the up. So this one it is direction of embedding motion. This one it is direction of embedding motion. I will write here, embedding motion towards the up. Embedding. motion. This one it is direction of embedding motion. This one it is direction of embedding motion. Okay. Towards the up. Towards the up. Means friction force it is acted opposite direction of embedding motion. Mm -hmm. This one it is friction force. Okay. So F R is equal to F R is equal to this. Mu it is given. Coefficient of friction between A block and mu it is Oh, sorry, coefficient of friction between A block and plane it is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 RNA. RNA. Okay. So this force is acted in horizontal direction. So 100 kN it is resolved in two directions. First one it is horizontal, second one it is vertical. So angle with respect to. So this one it is draw the normal reaction it is also that is. Normal reaction it is R A N E R A N E and this one it is resolved into 100 cos 45 100 cos 45 the horizontal axis it is 100 sin 45 100 sin 45 horizontal axis okay this one it is 100 sin 45 this this one it is 100 cos 45 this one it is R A N E normal reaction okay. So now apply the condition of equilibrium. So this one is 100 cos 45. This one, and this one it is RNA. This one it is RNA. Okay. So now apply the condition of equilibrium. Apply condition of equilibrium for block A. Apply. Condition of equilibrium. Equilibrium for for block B. Sorry, block A for block A. So first of all, summation F y is equal to zero. Summation of F y is equal to zero. Summation F y is equal to zero. If the force it is upward, it will be take positive. The direction of force it is upward, it will be positive. 
it will be positive. If the direction of force is downward, it will be negative. The direction of force is downward, so it will be negative. Negative. Okay. So first of all, see, hundred force forty five is going downward direction. So minus hundred force forty five. Okay. So y axis it is considered it is perpendicular to this inclined plane. So perpendicular to this, it will be this direction. So hundred force forty five minus then plus R N A it is going upward plus plus R N A is equal to zero. So from this relation it will get R N A value. Calculate R N A is equal to R N A is equal to this hundred plus forty five. Hundred plus forty five. So it will be get seventy point seven one zero. Seventy point seven one zero kilo newton. This one it is R N A. So calculate R N A. This one it is. Apply second equilibrium equation that is summation f x is equal to zero. We'll write here summation f x is equal to zero. Summation f x is equal to zero. Summation f x is equal to zero. So here assumption the direction of force it is right side it will be positive. The direction of force it is right side it will be positive. The direction of force it is left side it will be negative. It will be negative. Direction of force to the left side. It will be negative. Okay. So first of all, T one it is going. So x axis is parallel to this inclined plane. So T one it is going right side. It is positive. T two it is going left side. So minus T two. Then hundred sine forty five is going also left side. So minus hundred sine forty five. Then F R is equal to friction force. It is going also left side. So minus two R N A. R N A. Okay. This force it is acted in horizontal axis. T one it is plus T two it is minus in minus hundred sine forty five. Then minus two R N A is equal to zero. Okay, is equal to zero. So T one we have calculated it is already. One sixty five point three six T one it is one sixty five point three six then minus T two then minus hundred cos sine forty five is how much hundred sine forty five it will be seventy point seven one zero twenty point seven one zero then minus two into two into R N A it is seventy point seven one zero seven one zero fourteen point one four fourteen point Fourteen point one four two is equal to this zero. Is equal to this zero. So from this relation, it will get T two value. T two is equal to one sixty five point three six minus seventy point seven one zero minus fourteen point one four two. So it will get eighty point five zero. Eighty point five zero eight kilo newton. This one it is T two. Okay. Question was find the tension in the quad. So tension in the quad first it is T one. T one it is one sixty five point three six kilonewton and T two it is eighty point five zero eight kilonewton. This is your final solution. Okay. So why it is going embedding motion? It is downward direction. So Four hundred kilonewton. That's why it is going downward direction. So it is one hundred kilonewton is going upward direction. Okay. So that's why T two it is eighty point five zero eight and T one it is one sixty five point three six kilonewton. 